Something in a growler. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Puntet, you have this beer. This beer is from King Brewing Company that was dropped off from us by Colgate, who's no longer with us. This is the oh, Colgate. No. Well, this is the Col this is the King Brewing Pillsbach. He's now building windmills. Can eat them. <laughs> oh, so he's still with us. No, no, Ken, Ken fatted him up. Just not with us. He thought he was a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I got that now. <laughs> <sighs> Let us give you some uh, beer in your Dudacl glass. Some Pilsbach, which I'm guessing is a mixture of a Pilsner and a Bach. That would be my Ooh, guess. How lovely. If I had to take a guess. And I'm what is sure our it's not a stout and a lager. ABV on here is 6.5. 6.5. And there's some left. So let's uh, pass it over that way. Let's give this a little look-see, shall we? That is yellow-ish. It's kind of brassy, actually. Like a couple of things. <laughs> like, for you kids that don't know it anymore, <laughs> that's what a copper penny used to look like. Fruity. Yeah, it's kind of grassy. Grassy and fruity, yeah. And gassy. Um, a little bit of grass. What is that? That's, um, plum almost? Yeah, something. You know, like a nectarine yeah, or something. Yeah, definitely tastes fruity. A tender fruit, anyway. Fruity. Actually, is your fruit tray around still? Yeah. Can I see that for a second? Oh, there's left there's is cantaloupes one, yeah, and, no. a, and a sorry little strawberry. Honeydew. Honeydew. Yeah, I honeydew knew. Honeydew what? It kind of has a honeydew scent. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm still thinking plum. I think you were right on the first time. I think plum as well. I, I'm going to send the wife out to buy a bag of black plums, and mm. I might make a plum beer. That sounds good. Let's try it. Cheers. Tasty. Oh, that is really good. You know what? That's the first King Brewery beer that I could really get behind. Like, I don't dislike the lager or the dark, but I can't really get behind it and support it. I can support this. It's really good. It's tasty. Unfortunately, it's a it's a limited edition oh, beer. That's stupid. <laughs> this is better than their three regulars. It's better than the dark. The it's better than the poster, and it's better now. than the lager. Like. I've been well, in Toronto, like I noticed King Brewery's got a lot of stuff on tap in Toronto. Where is King? Is it, is it uh, Toronto? Nobleton. Okay. But that's what they should, they should have more of something like this on tap. Now, I mean, it does King kind of have Brewery. the macro feel to it because it is a Pilsner. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a regular lager, so it has the laid back, normal macro-like feel. But it, it's kind of fruity, and it actually, I would say plum now that I'm tasting it. It's got a nice flavor. Yeah, nice flavor, kind of grassy, hop bitterness. Nice plum taste and a nice sweet malt, a nice roasted malt taste. So I mean, all the tastes combined make a very nice beer. Um, so what comes out more for you though, pills or Bach? Uh, the Bach is where you're getting the really sweet, where where you're getting the color and you're getting the sweet malt. Mm -hmm. uh, Pilsner is coming out with the uh, the grassy finish, mm -hmm. and I think I would say the Pilsner is coming out more because the grassy finish lasts longer than the sweetness. But I think the two of them together actually make mix to make a really good beer. It's actually yeah. more well balanced than uh, yeah, a normal really Pilsner, good. and it's more well balanced than a normal Bach. Because a normal Bach's just malty and sweet, and a normal Pilsner is just grassy and uh, dirty. Both yeah. of them are refreshing beers, and this is just the best of both worlds. I don't think I could drink more than like a, a couple of these. But. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a fan of the regular lager taste enough to be able to drink mm -hmm. more than a couple it just of smells, these. It smells so good though. It's like really nice beer. Mm -hmm. But you're at a bar with your buddies, get a pint mm -hmm. or two of these. It's just that a shame great. that it's a limited edition. That's what they should have on tap. Like totally. And you know what I like? I like it when it's just like straightforward. King Brewery, Pillsbach, 6.5. Here's the website. 341 mils. Yeah, no fancy, uh, no fancy notes. adding, nothing like that. No. Just bang, here's your beer. Yep. Straightforward. So, I'd give this a seven. I could buy it again. I wouldn't go out of my way to look for it. It wouldn't be something that I would normally buy, but I could buy it again. I think I'd give it a seven and a half, because 
I would definitely want a whole bottle to myself, and then I would want several others to share with my friends. Alrighty, so seven and a half and a seven, King Pillsbach. Cheers. You know what there, Colgate? First time you brought something that wasn't shit. 